Welcome to Gamerati News Update on YouTube. This week we travel in time twice, discover mutant werewolves fight zombies again and visit a strange land. Here are the tabletop gaming news for the 38th week of 2019. The mad wizard Alfinius Gu has been most pleased with the reception he got at Gen Con. Because of this, he has decreed that the vaults of the cube be thrown wide and fantastic treasures be handed out to a select few. Sign up at GooeyCube.com for your chance to win one of the 30 limited edition prints of the gorgeous art from the chapters of the Red Star Rising campaign. You also may win exclusive GooeyCube t-shirts two print copies of an adventure of your choosing, as well as special custom portrait of your personal character, which will appear in one of their upcoming adventures. The Great GUI giveaway will be live streamed on Twitch and Facebook 21 of September at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. The event will also feature an interactive dungeon crawl through a massive dungeon. Just follow the link in the video description. Now available in print from Onyx Path Publishing, Night Horrors Shunned by the Moon. This 200 plus page supplement for Werewolf the Forsaken, Beast the Primordial and other Chronicles of Darkness role-playing games bring a rich cast of monstrous creatures, thorough examinations of the culture, practice and abilities of the pure, the balehounds and other depraved werewolves. In this book, you will also find threats from the world of spirits, including void spirits, spirit-ridden, and new hosts such as the children of termite, the wasp hosts, and the toad hosts, among many more. There's also descriptions and stats for human antagonist groups fit to take on any pack of werewolves or direct their attentions against other supernatural foes, and an accessible how-to guide on running your first chronicles of Werewolf the Forsaken, including how to incorporate many of the creatures introduced in Night Horrors Shunned by the Moon. You can get the hardcover book from Drive-Thru RPG in premium color for 40 US dollars or standard color for 30 US dollars. And if you want the print plus PDF together, it's just five dollars more. Link in the video description. With 2 million copies sold since its release in 2012, Zombicide is definitely an unprecedented success, spawning a cult franchise of cooperative zombie-slaying board games all over the world, including fantasy and sci-fi variations. And later this year, we'll have Zombicide 2nd Edition. Returning players will find that the classic rules have been refined, streamlining gameplay and getting into the thick of the action faster than ever before. And if you already own some or all of the expansions for the original zombie side, don't worry, veteran zombie hunters will still be able to use their current collections as updates will be available. The components and art of the game has been reworked and updated. Thiago Aranha, senior producer at Simon, said that their team has gone through every aspect of the game, from how doors and cars work, to new rules for target priority for ranged attacks, to adding dark zones that will hide zombies from the survivors. You can expect this new edition of Zombie Side to hit Kickstarter before the year's end. In Pax Pamir, players assume the role of 19th century Afghan leaders attempting to forge a new state after the collapse of the Durrani Empire. Western historians often call this period the Great Game because of the role played by the Europeans who attempted to use Central Asia as a theater for their own rivalries. In this game, those empires are viewed strictly from the perspective of the Afghans who sought to manipulate the interloping Ferengi, the foreigners, for their own purposes. The original game was released in 2015 with the second edition successfully crowdfunded on Kickstarter exactly a year ago. And now the retail version of Pax Pamir's second edition is available. It's a beautiful game, even more than the first edition. But what attracts me the most is that the designer, Cole Wehrle, seeks to reverse the standard tropes in games about empires and offer a new perspective of this complicated time in world history because, unlike most conquest games, Pax Pamir is played from the perspective of the locals, the Afghan tribal leaders seeking to capitalize from the chaos of the imperial pretensions. Pax Pamir's second edition is available from Wahle Gig Games' website for 85 US dollars. Unfortunately, it only ships in the United States. The third game in Next Move Games' Azul series, designed by Michael Kiesling, is set to release in December. Called Azul Summer Pavilion, like in the other titles of the series, this game challenges players to construct patterns using tiles they acquire through a drafting mechanic. 
this time to decorate King Manuel I's summer pavilion, built to honor Portugal's royal family. This iteration of the theme features elongated diamond-shaped tiles and new scoring mechanisms based around collecting sets and building patterns. The game keeps the same art style established by Chris Williams with his beautiful art for the first and second games in the series. Azul, Summer Pavilion lasts six rounds, and in each round players draft tiles, then place them on their individual player boards to score points. Each of the six colors of tiles is wild during one of the rounds. Azul Summer Pavilion plays two to four architects, ages eight and up, plays in half an hour, and will come out in December with an MSRP of 40 US dollars. Machikoro Legacy, published by Pandasaurus Games, hits shelves this week. The latest edition in the smash hit Machikoro series, Machikoro Legacy, is an all-new game that changes before your eyes as it unfolds with an amazing and surprise-filled narrative. In Machikoro Legacy, you play through 10 different games in a story-driven campaign where player choices shape the game as you play, so no two games will be the same. Throughout the campaign, elements are added into the mix that will enchant you and make you think on your toes. Over time, an emergent narrative comes into focus, explaining this strange and mystical land that you all have stepped into. This culminates in an infinitely replayable yet unique 11th game. Machu Koro Legacy plays 2 to 4 explorers ages 10 and up. Each match takes around 30 minutes per level and has an MSRP of 49 US dollars and 95 cents. That's it for this week from Gamerati News Update. I've been Marcelo and you can check out the news as they happen in one minute compact versions from Monday to Friday, always released at 8 a.m. Pacific at twitter.com slash Gamerati and facebook.com slash Gamerati. Then you can come back here to YouTube on Saturday for the full version of all the news together. See you next week.